Hi you guys, welcome to Cancerian Chronicles. We are gonna go ahead and jump into the energy for the sign of Cancer to see what messages we have. Oh wow. Okay, the first card that we have is Shaolin Master, which says be graceful in movement and action. Hmm. Um, there's something that you're about to discover, something that is going to be made known or revealed to you. And whatever it is, um, you are being asked to, um, hmm. It, it has something to do with the way that you react. I'm hearing something about stay calm as a cucumber. Just kind of trust uh, your instincts. I'm getting the sense of like you're needing to just kind of observe the situation first before acting, coming up with a game plan um, is what I'm getting. Yeah, this is something to do. We have, um, I don't know if you can see that, but we have elder uh, move beyond ancestral patterns. Hmm. This is something to do with, um, I don't know, if there is something in your family, some type of habit, some type of belief or belief system that um, maybe you are, I'm hearing, I'm different, I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. So you don't really believe in it. You don't ascribe to whatever this is. Um, this could be something to do with um, like marriage. This could be something to do. I'm hearing something about the sanctity of marriage. Um, this could have something to do with religion for some of you guys. Um, it's just a belief system. I'm hearing something about abortion for some of you guys. But whatever it is, like your your ancestors, I was about to say your ancestors, but your family um, does the opposite of whatever this is that you are wanting to do. And I'm getting the sense of like you are being guided to stand your ground. You're being guided to like trust in whatever feels right for you, whatever your guidance is telling you, um, even though it may feel... Um, I don't know. I don't know if someone is like trying to treat you like an outsider or making you feel like you're the strange one. I'm hearing the word backwards, but they have it twisted. They have it backwards. They have it wrong. What your, you know, no offense, but whatever this is, like this community, your family, whoever this is, the way that they usually do things is actually something that has been, um, it could be considered like an ancestral pattern or in other words, like a generational um, curse or, you know, whatever they call that, right? I'm, I'm hearing something about trying to keep a, a, a brother down or something like that. Like whatever this is, it keeps... Um, the people in your family from realizing like their, their true potential. Yeah, we have great uh, teacher learn from spiritual experiences. Hmm. I'm hearing something about going against the grain. Like there's something that you should have learned or you've been taught or you're being taught that it's okay to do things in a different way. It's okay to be um, an independent individual, right? I'm hearing the word codependency. So your family, I don't know if it's kind of like a family where everyone is all up in the other person's business. Like everyone is in everyone's business or something like that. And because of this, like a meshed system, ecosystem is what I'm hearing because of how enmeshed everyone is like focusing on other people's business and what other people have going on and what other people are doing that's right or wrong in someone else's opinion. They're not focusing on their own lessons and things that they're meant to be doing. I'm hearing taking care of business. They're not able to take care of their own business because they're up in everybody else's 
um, in everybody else's. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay, so the card that popped out, we have adjacent possibilities. Okay, so, and I know the camera cut off, so I'm just gonna, you know, keep going. I don't even know where I left off. I got so frustrated, I just went to bed. Um, so I'm just waking up and I'm gonna go ahead and continue. Um, so with adjacent possibilities, this is like, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing this can go one of, I'm hearing six ways, but you know, the saying is like, this, this can go one of two ways, meaning like there are multiple paths um, that you can take when it comes to this same situation, like whatever this is. And so when a, it's under this be graceful in movement and action. So again, before you take whatever action you decide to take, it's kind of like make sure that you are observing and, um, you know, just kind of feeling your way around, right? Like take a moment to just pause and reflect um, to see like what's going to be in your best interest. In your best interest, I split the deck in um, what I saw was first chakra, Archangel Michael. Really, what is going to provide you with the most? Um, I'm hearing something about bare necessities. But what's going to provide you with, you know, uh, the safety and security that you need? Um, I have a sense of like, you know, what's going to, you know. Like, I don't, something, I don't know if, like, whatever this is has the potential, like, if you continue along the path of, like, what your um, previous, you know, like, your ancestors or your family or whatever this community is, um, it's going to, like, it keeps you guys in a lack mentality, stuck mentality, or poor. I'm just going to say keep some of you guys poor. Um, so just be careful with that. With what popped out was um, walking away. So it's like you need to know um, which um, are viable solutions to whatever this is versus what are some things that you need to walk away from. And again, um, anything that is not going to benefit you, you need to walk away from it. Um, and really, I'm just getting like anything that has something to do with these uh, generational uh, wounds, generational hurts, uh, ancestral patterns, like whatever you want to call it, like that's what you're meant to walk away from. Yeah, you're supposed to help. It's kind of like moving the whole family um, forward. Yeah, the hostilities tried to pop out. It just feels like, you know, you know, I'm hearing that all my life I had to fight, right? So this is something like, you know, your family or whoever, like it's it's been something that has been like people are fighting for this right or, you know, for like whatever this stance or viewpoint is. But at the same time, this is why they keep like they stay in a repeated um, cycle of having to fight to survive is what I'm getting. Yeah, with uh, Move Beyond Ancestral Patterns underneath that, we have all tied up. Whatever this is, is keeping um, your family, your lineage stuck in some rut, in some cycle. And it has the potential to keep, to have you in the same vicious cycle if you allow it. So you're here, you're being called to kind of bring another perspective to show people that there is a different way, that there's something else out there for you guys. At the top, we have the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, um, which is the throat chakra. This is something that you're going to have to show, lead the way you're going to have to talk about um, in your family. I'm getting the sense of like speak out against some things. Um, I'm hearing the word education. That's like a word that I use like when I'm playing around. Um, you know, it's completely the wrong way to say education, but um, it's kind of like, you know, you're having to teach people another way is essentially what I'm getting with that. You're going to have to teach these people a different way, an, an alternative. You have to show people that there are other routes that they can take um, with whatever this is. Yeah. 
Yeah, door to personal healing and happiness. Like this is about teaching or showing people that they don't have to live a life of suffering. That they're not brought here. They're not meant to be on this earth to suffer. That's not why we're here. None of us have been brought here to be a sacrificial lamb, so to speak. Yeah, at the bottom is contract. That's not a part of why we are here. And it's kind of like someone is trying to live out someone else's story or I'm hearing been there, done that, right? Someone's already done that. Let's move on. And depending on what you believe, right? And, and it feels like these are like, you might have people like, this is what they say that they believe, but they're not showing it because you're not here to do the suffering. If the suffering was already done for you, you are here to love, to learn how to love, to show acceptance, right? To treat people the way that you want to be treated. That's why you're here, to be happy, to not suffer, but some people still have this mentality that like, you know, anything that is pleasurable to you is sinful. And that simply is just not the case. Things that are pleasurable are here to enjoy. I'm being... Um, guided to like to say in Spanish, I like, you know, I like something. You typically start off with me encanta, which means this, whatever this, whatever it is that you're referring to, it pleases me. It is pleasing to me. So how could pleasure be a sin? I don't know. I feel like I'm, I mean, I don't know. Um, we have envy. There might be some people that, um, some people are, you know, I, I feel like some people are going to be on board, right? They're going to receive your message with your message or your messages with open arms, but there are going to be some people that are going to be quite envious. I'm hearing like the would have, could have, should have, like there might be some people, you know, they might be older. They might feel like it's too late for them or something like that. You know, and it's kind of like, well, you know, why didn't I get this opportunity? But again, people need to understand, like, if you're still alive, you still got opportunities, right? We have at the bottom of the garden and the gate, you know, some people just sitting there, it's kind of like, you know, they're not making any moves because they still are holding on to this past story of like once you hit age i don't know make it up it's all different i guess depending on where you're from or what family you're in but it's like people think that their lives are over no your life is over when your life is over yeah we have first chakra archangel michael that finally came out hmm This is about, again, you know, like the first chakra is about safety and security. And it feels like, you know, um, number one, like you're safe to give these messages. You're safe to make these other options. You're safe to um, share your experiences with the world, with others. You're safe to move forward um, as planned. You don't have to wait around for um, anyone else's approval. You don't need to sit there and wait around. I'm hearing, do you believe in magic? We have the magician in the mirror. It's up to you to you know, make this happen. Hmm. Messages for cancer. Yeah, man holding a coin. Uh, for a lot of you guys, this is about like these are some there are some things that you need to do that this is going to be key or critical as it relates to your financial stability. That's just really what it is. 
Like some people um, are focusing a lot on, you know, like love, love conquers all. But you need to make sure that you are feeling... Um, Yeah, what fell to the floor is um, Six Chakra, Archangel Metatron. And it's just making me feel like, you know, this is, you know, there's a time to, you know, just go act based off of feeling. And there's a time to be more logical. And this feels like, you know, with this man holding a coin, coin, it feels like this is time to be more logical. This is, this is a time to um, count. It's something about counting your blessings, right? This is about the tangible. This isn't make-believe. This isn't about the make-believe. This is about the right here, right now. This is about what's in your best interest. Seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. I'm getting the sense of like where it says move beyond the ancestral patterns, right? They're tying someone down. Okay, let me go back. Shaolin master, be graceful in movement and action, right? There is something that you are juggling or dealing with, um, some idea, some decision that needs to be made. There are multiple ways, many different ways with the adjacent possibilities. There are many ways, many directions you can take. Um, but you're going to have to pick one and you're going to have to walk away from all of the other fluff, all of the things that are unnecessary. And this is what is required of you to make sure that like you are financially safe and secure is what I'm getting. When we get here to this elder move beyond ancestral patterns, there is some type of generational pattern, curse, whatever you guys call it, like it doesn't matter, but there's something that is like a historical habit or something in your family that keeps everyone all tied up, right? Keeps everyone stuck and stagnant. It's like an old story or something like that rather than and it has something to do with choosing that um story and being tied down to that rather than moving on to your own personal happiness which is what you're meant to do this is something that you're meant to show others and i'm getting the sense of like you have ancestors in the background that are giving you hints clues and guidance right and it's for your lineage for your legacy They're giving you information, number one. It's like they have different perspectives of everything um, that's going on. So they see things that you may not see. They know things that you may not know. And they're acting as guides. Um, yeah, we have happy family. That All they want is for everyone in the family to be happy. Yeah. And it's kind of like they want some of you guys to learn. Yeah learn from their mistakes like they're giving you guidance based off of the different perspectives that they have and based off of you know what they have actually experienced and they want you to choose a different path they want you to do something different with this great teacher learn from spiritual experiences just know, right, that there are going to be people, it's not that they don't agree with what you're saying. It's not that they don't agree with what you're doing. They are envious, right, that they don't feel like they have the bravery and the courage to move forward, to move forward as planned, that they didn't take up this calling the way that you have, the way that you are. And it's making them feel very insecure, unsure, some people still don't believe in themselves. They have not been doing the work, um, taking care of themselves, building up their confidence. So they don't really feel like they can do it. And the fact that you do, and the fact that you're moving ahead, and the fact that you're doing something different, and the fact that you might be, it's kind of like some people saying like, you're gonna be more than what they've ever been, or you're gonna have more than they, what they've ever had. And it's kind of like these people are stuck in ego. They're stuck thinking about themselves, whereas you and your ancestors are thinking about the whole family line and the whole family legacy, the whole lineage. Some of these people, and like I said, this could be a family. This could be some other type of community. I heard cult, okay. I don't know what that is. Um, I mean, I know what that is, but I don't know if that's what that is for some of you guys. 
Like it can be a type of organization. But the fact that you are actually learning from your experiences, learning from your ancestors, you are also taking action on that. It does lead to, it does cause envy and insecurity. And some people with this community and hostilities, some of them may speak out or act out against you. But you don't have control over that. That is something that like, is you know, I'm, I'm hearing, you know, like if, if your mom or dad ever said this to you, but like if they ain't putting their putting they hands on you, right? Don't worry about it. I'm also hearing, I don't know why this popped up, but if it's something that like people are continuing to do things that are really irritating you, bothering you, um, yeah, making your itch, then what you need to do is if they're saying things that are not true, um, go ahead and I'm thinking about Megan Thee Stallion when she took that woman to court, okay? And got her coins, got her money. And they may not have any money to give you, but they will get the message to shut the up is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing something about put your money where your mouth is. That's what I'm hearing. Feeling frustrated about that. Yeah. But this is all about like you have the confidence with the second... Um, Second chakra, we have Archangel Ariel. Second chakra is the sacral and it's about like creativity um, and things of that sort. But every time I see this card, it doesn't look like, you know, the sacral is usually more of an orange and I always see like a lot of yellow in here. But so it's kind of like a mixture of second and third, you know, like sacral and solar plexus. So it's like some people are having issues or qualms because you have the confidence to take another route. For some of you guys, this has to do with the fact that rather than working a nine to five, you are choosing to follow your kind of create your creative endeavors or something like that. Like you don't want to be tied down to a nine to five um, or like doing things for other people. You want to build something for yourself and for your family. You want to do things that you love. This was at the top of the deck. You want to pursue things that you love. And it may not be that for you. Um, this is just an example because if you have a nine to five and you love it, then you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do in that aspect. And it might be something else that you have to look at that has to do with um, ancestral patterns. Something that, you know, like maybe it never sat right with you. It never felt right with, uh, to you. And you are choosing to do something different. And that's exactly what you uh, are supposed to do. You're supposed to do something different. Yeah. Um, what popped out is date and then the golden mirror. I'm being guided to where it says one-sided. And meeting someone new. This is, this feels like you guys are about to meet more people. Like you have only been dealing with um, like one perspective, which has to do with like whatever group that you're trying to assimilate with or whatever. But you're about to meet people that have decided to take another path and you're going to see that this is OK. And this is going to be something that it might actually give you more of the confidence that you need. Yeah. To move forward as plan with whatever this is to take this other path, because um, for some of you guys, you might feel with this not enough. You might feel um, a little bit like, you know. You may not feel that you can do it on your own or something like that, but it's like some people, you're going to meet a person or some people that are going to give you uh, some examples that shows you that absolutely you can and you will. Yeah, you're about to take a, we have um, poker face and I'm being guided to take a chance. You are about to take a chance on whatever this is on this new life. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm hearing something about Seek Ye Paradise or something like that. So you're about to seek out your own happiness, what makes you happy, um, you know, what you love. The kingdom of 
paradise or something like that. I don't know. But that's the message that I'm getting from uh, for you. This is about you obliterating. At the top, we have obliter, but it's um, old school. Whatever you were conditioned to believe, this outdated thinking, you are here to obliterate it. You're here to do something different. That's what you're being called to do, and you do have guidance to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I hope that this message was helpful. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, all of that good stuff. Remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, once we get to 250, I'm going to pick three people from the comments to give free readings to. So if you want to be included in that drawing, um, then make sure that you're leaving comments. You can leave emojis. It doesn't matter. But just make sure that you're leaving a comment so that I know, like I can put you, um, your username in the drawing. Okay. Um, so, all right, you guys have a beautiful day. I love you so, so much. And bye now. Mwah.